Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Saturday, everyone, and a very good evening to all who are watching this video. So, this video I'm going to uh, help you fix an issue with your uh, Kali Linux operating system, guys. Okay, uh, most of you uh, may be hosting Kali Linux on a virtual box, okay, and running it as a virtual machine, which I am also doing right now. And uh, what I noticed is today, I, after I launched my Kali Linux operating system, guys, sorry, virtual machine, guys, I uh, I launched the root terminal. Uh, which is normally uh, the tool that you mostly use okay within your uh, Kali Linux operating system so i noticed this error guys zsh corrupt history file that it, that means the dot zh underscore history file within the root directory has got corrupted that's what the error message says and how do i fix it guys and you may ask me before we proceed you may ask me like uh, what is the link here uh, with this file and uh, a bit, I mean, what is the relationship between uh, ZHS uh, history file as well as uh, the uh, root terminal basically? So, both are uh, interlinked, guys, because this history file is directly linked to the root terminal basically. So, when you run commands, right, uh, as a root user within your terminal, all those commands get recorded as history within this particular history file, guys, okay. So they are uh, basically recorded within this uh, history file and this file keeps a log of all the commands you have executed uh, using your uh, root terminal and which can be very useful for uh, reviewing uh, your past commands or your uh, past history of commands that you have run on your uh, root terminal. Okay, and also uh, it helps in troubleshooting a lot of issues as well guys so if the history file if this history file gets corrupted right it can cause errors like the one that we are seeing just now so this is what i'm going to show you how to fix it okay so there are series of commands that we need to run to fix it i just wrote it down in a uh, in a word document basically so each of the uh, uh, act i mean the each of these commands uh, signifies what kind of action that uh, it relates to okay so let's quickly get started guys firstly we need to rename this existing file here i'm just going to copy paste it here in front of you okay so go to remove these unwanted characters here and i'll just double check whether this is what it is okay okay that's done guys all right and the next command is going to extract all the valid commands from the corrupted file guys okay Let's do that here. Paste selection. Again, there are some unwanted characters that is getting copied over here. We'll just verify if that is the exact command here. Okay. It all looks good here. I'm just going to hit enter and that's done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to execute the next command here reload the history file copy and paste here okay that's done guys and last one remove the corrupted file here rm means remove so you will be familiar with doing a control shift v here and that's it guys this is all done and now if I reload the terminal basically the error should not appear let's close the terminal and reopen guys there you go guys the error is gone just now and that means it has successfully fixed the issue for us Okay, and if you found this video helpful, please hit the upload button, guys, and do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more useful videos like this. And we'll meet in the next video, guys. And until then, stay safe, video leeches. Tada, bye bye.